Internet, good morning. My name is Magnitude. Welcome to GBA Week 2. Uh, if you have press conference questions, please leave them below. I didn't get to do a press conference last week. I was sick, like, all of last week. I was in the hospital. It was a terrible time. But I'm going to have a press conference this week. If you could please put that link or your questions for a possible press conference for after this week below, and we'll do that uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday. But we are the Milwaukee Sauce Bucks, and we are taking on... Where is my water? There it is. We are taking on the uh, Atlanta Halucha, the 0-1 Atlanta Halucha. We are 1-0. We won last last week. Now, last year, we also won 1-0. Uh, and then we lost nine games in a row, so we're kind of hoping that doesn't happen again. But here we are uh, using uh, three of this year's draft picks, three old, older picks there. And uh, we have uh, going to the Atlanta Halucha there. I didn't think he was going to bring Slurp Buff. I didn't bring anything for Slurp Buff, but here's Slurp Buff. And, uh, well, this is how the battle went down. I am still actually really sick, but um, um, water is my friend right now. So I leave with uh, Landorus, and he leaves with Keldia. I'm going to lower his attack. It doesn't mean, anything. It doesn't mean anything. I was afraid of him being Scarf me with an Ice attack. So I'm just going to go into Cresselia to take whatever he wants to do. And he goes for Icy Wind. That kind of tells me he's not Scarf, because why would you have Icy Wind plus a Scarf? So that's some good intel right there at turn one. He's going to switch out. He doesn't want to take a Psychic by me, and he's going to go right into his Mew, actually. And uh, I'm just going to hit him with a Psy Shock, and this is going to do nothing. Even though he does resist it, it does fucking nothing. So it tells me he's probably physically defensive. After all said and done, he's, he's not going to get back his uh, leftovers. That means he's probably choice. He's probably going to go for a trick. So I'm going to Ditto, which I have a Scarf as well. And I'm going to be able to see his moveset, which is U-Turn, Thunder Wave, Transform, and Trick. Which is very annoying. Uh, that means he's not locked into Trick now. He's going to go for U-Turn, and I, I just didn't want to... I, I, I really thought about going for a Thunder Wave. Uh, but I didn't want to risk losing the speed tie. Or risk winning the speed tie and then also being paralyzed. So I just go for U-turn as well, and he goes in the chandelier. And uh, luckily, I'm going to see that he's going to get leftovers. I don't see it now, but I'm going to see it. He's going to get the leftovers right there. So I know he's definitely not all, He's definitely not going to be Scarf. I actually I, I am Scarf Greninja, which is, you know, it's an interesting interesting little thing there. Uh, he goes into Keldeo on the U-turn. I just U-turn out. And uh, he can't really see what item I am because uh, I'm just going to keep U-turning away. I really wish I got rocked to turn one, but he had that Keldeo completely to counter my... my Landorus lead. So I'm going to go into Victini now, and I'm going to threaten him out with a Thunder, a big, fat Thunder. As you can go for a Surf, I am Assault Vest. I'm going to leave that, and I'm just going to go for a Thunder, I'm going to drop this Thunder real quick on Keldeo, and he's not going to die, but he gets the Para, which is highly unlucky on his part. I'm going to Blue Flare, I don't want to risk a Thunder missing, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit him with a Blue Flare, I'm going to end up taking him out. The Sauce Bucks up 6-5 to five early because of a little Hex. You know, after going 1-9 last season, it helps to get a little Hex in my in my direction. Uh, I go into Landorus now, predicting a, either a Thunder Wave or a U-Turn, and uh, he is going to U-Turn. That's going to do uh, 9 damage to me after the Intimidate, so <laughs> that's kind of nice. But he gets a free switch and he goes in his own Salamence. Now, here I've been thinking for a long time, he's not going to go for an Earthquake. Dragon Claw, maybe? Uh, I don't really know what else he would maybe set up a Dragon Dance, but I figured my best bet was to go into my Klefki, bred by Hannah. And he goes for a Hydro Pump, so he's special. And based on that damage, uh, he's probably, based on the damage and not seeing any item, he's probably a uh, choice Scarf as well. But the idea was probably to, to trick away the Scarf on the Mew, so we wouldn't have two Scarfers, but... Uh, I do set up a sub and he can't trick or transform or really anything through this. And, and he can't even break my sub with U-Turn. So this Klefki is a very nice uh, counter to Mew. I once, well, not counter. It's a, I can't come in on anything. I could come in on a U-Turn, I guess. But I just go for a foul play. And uh, it's going to do not that much. Even though it's super effective that channel lore. <laughs> so uh, Klefki is going to uh, you know, just kind of chill in there. I was afraid a long time for Infiltrator. But I said, you know what, I'm going to cut my losses and go for a Thunder Wave and just kind of see what happens. If he hits you through a sub, so be it. Uh, but he gets fully paired, and that's fine. You know? 2-0 me in the hacks department. <laughs> so now I'm just deciding, okay, you know what? Uh, I, I don't really want anything to switch into a Chandelure's move. I don't really want, like... I wouldn't want a Cristalia to come in on a... Uh, wouldn't want a Cristalia to come in on like a Shadow Ball. Oh, he gets up a sub. Oh, so he's probably sub Pain Split, which is annoying. I don't know if Pain Split, how that works through a sub at all. I have no idea. But this could be really annoying if not, not dealt with. Let's go for a foul play. I am definitely going to break his sub. That's it's, that's going to be without a doubt. And uh, I just don't know where he's going to... I get the crit on the sub, which is whatever. I don't know what he's going to go for here. He goes for a Shadow Ball. And now I know he, that means he's definitely not Infiltrator. He's definitely got to be Flash Fire. I guess waiting for that Victini. 
Uh, that's just gonna break my sub, and I am gonna fashion him obviously because of that's just he's paralyzed, and we've seen that turn after turn. <clears throat> it's no surprise to anybody. And Klefki is gonna take down Shandula. Now, prior to the match, Fizz was talking some trash on Twitter, so I made that Twitter back. I made that trash talk a background of mine on Twitter, or a background of mine on my desktop, and it's just kind of funny because it's just Fizz's fucking face with some trash. It's just fucking weird. Uh, I set up a sub, and he's just got a switch. He's you know he's locked on Thunder Wave, so. Uh, I, it, the making him not, uh, making him unable to trick away that scarf helped me immensely because he just can't switch moves. Whatever he does, he's locked into. Uh, I go for foul play, which eat with just a solid amount. Like this is a lot. I'm, I'm pleased. He goes for a fire blast this time, and that's just that's clearly gonna break my sub. There's just no way it's not gonna break my sub. And now I decide, you know, he's gonna go for a foul play, and then in the next turn we'll hit him with a thunder wave, and if, and then we'll come in with something else. See, I was afraid of him having a dragon dancing. Um, a dragon dancing Salamence. That's why I brought a Scarf Greninja in case you get up one dragon. I also had Ditto in, you know, to, uh, I brought Ditto to uh, make it so he didn't really, like, set up or it weren't going to be a thing. Uh, you know, if he wants to set up, I can come up with Scarf Ditto and just start fucking running a train. Get up another sub. He does not miss any Fire Blasts. I figure we're going to cut our losses. Paralyze this, uh, paralyze. We, we fucked up here, so we're going to go ahead and just paralyze the Salamence and bring in whatever and hope, we hope we get some para act because actually you know slow him down and hope we get the para which you know always what we're trying to do and uh, I do so there's that <laughs> I, I mean you know I it's it happened for me at the best time it's I had some awful luck last year to and I get it I get it again but that that one wasn't less it just means Clefki you gotta kill I guess uh, I, well, I mean, it kept Clef Klefki alive, but I'm not gonna lie, I like, got a little luck in this game. But after going, like I said, I got, like, week two last year I lost, or week three I lost last year because I, he got a one-turn wake on me, and week two I lost because he was, like, ten for eleven, breaking out of, like, confusions, and now I just go, you know, just paralyze Gudra, fuck it, we're doing that all day, you think we're Thunderbolt. Which, uh, which means if he had Flamethrower, he probably would have used it, so it means he probably doesn't have Flamethrower. And I was gonna go for foul play to get any sort of damage off on this thing I can. There's more than I would, more than I thought it would. Gonna go ahead and take out the Klefki. Now we're on the verge of winning. Uh, I I just make my number one overall pick as a giant sacrifice just to solidify and just be a hundred percent sure that Greninja doesn't take it out. I'm gonna go for a knockoff. Get rid of that assault vest. And I, I understand he's probably gonna ice beam me because he had Thunderbolt. So uh, Landris, this season 0-2, but he did a, he did a very valuable job in making sure that that Greninja. My Greninja can take him out with an Ice Beam, and it's just, just no way his Assault Vest will come into play in the slightest. So, uh, I could have gone for an Earthquake and almost killed it, I suppose, but I didn't know if I was going to kill it, and then I know if he was Resto Chesto also, and then if he was, on the off chance he was Resto Chesto, I might as well just fucking get rid of that altogether too. Going to Ditto, hoping he would Thunder Wave himself, but he goes for a trick again, so that worked out nicely in my favor, and once again, Scarf, Scarf. I actually also had two Scarfers, I had uh, Scarf Greninja, so... I win this B tie this time with him, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch out when something's gonna have to take a U turn. So I just go for Victini. I know I can probably live this, especially because uh, it's neutral damage, and I do live that. And uh, he's gonna now go into Slurpuff, who's around for the shortest amount of time, as the Victini Blue Flare is gonna welcome Slurpuff to the GBA, and then instantly send him on his way. Slurpuff, that was a quality turn in your part, but uh, Victini is gonna take you out. Going into Mew, he's gonna transform into me, which I'm totally cool with. Even though now, now he's forced to pick a move. He's forced to pick something. And he picks Blue Flare, which is going to be nice, which means Greninja can come in. And Greninja can come take out that Victini. I'm glad he picked Blue Flare. Uh, Greninja coming in, and Greninja going to go ahead. I'm also Scarf, so there you go. That's exactly why. <laughs> and I'm going to go for a Surf, and that's a dead uh, Victini. And it's all for 2-0. Oh. We've won two in a row. We've won more games than last year. Successful season. Rate, comments up, guys, and I'll see you all next time.